I am at Blendon Ravines, which is a metro park, but it is not on their metro park maps. Um, it's only about 100 acres. It's not monitored like most metro parks. Their goal, I think, is to keep it more primitive, even though there is a trail in here. Um, but uh, it's still a nice little spot. I can't think of the name of it, but I'll put everything down in the description where it can be found at. Blendon Ravines. See? Columbus and Franklin County Metro Parks. Looks like the map's fallen. But it's not that big. It's called Ravines because there are a couple ravines in here. Not a lot of parking spot. As you can see, people park along the side of the road. So, there's not really a parking lot. But there is a spot where you can pull off and park. Like I said, it's not one of their main parks, so I don't know how much work they put into this. I don't really think that they do any type of work on the trail because it's more or less, main, you know, to stay primitive and wild. There could be volunteer groups that may come out once in a while and do some work on the trail. I don't know. But I, I was told it goes back as far as Lee Road and past that is private property. There actually are um, blazes on the trees out here. They're black. Though the trail's not really hard to see, but there are some blazes on the trees to help lead you through, keep you from getting lost. But these woods are really small. You're not gonna get lost. This is my second time here. You're not going to find bridges. One of the ravines. It's 
got some really cool overlook of, uh, I want to say Big Walnut Creek below, but I'm not for sure if that's it. We'll go up here to the edge and then it turns to the right, which goes back a little further. Or if you turn to the left, it's basically a loop that'll take us back out to the parking lot. Well, where we're parked at, I wouldn't call it parking lot. I have not had a chance to go to the right yet because last time I was here, I was pressed for time. So we're gonna go to the right this time and go all the way back. If you go that way, that'll take you back to your car. But we're going to go this way. I want to go all the way back. But check out this view. This is really cool. down here I think that's Big Walnut Creek I do know there's a little stream down here at the bottom that feeds into Big Walnut I'm not sure how we're going to cross that yet Nice if there is a bridge, but I'm not counting on there being one. Yeah, it looks like there's some rocks that we can get across. So if this is high, that might be a hard job to cross, but it looks crossable today. Be a little careful when you come down through here. Alright. So we gotta get up there. I'm gonna turn the camera off while I climb up this little thing right here, and then we'll be back. All right, so that's what we just come down, across this little stream right here, climb up that little bank there, and we're back on the trail. Looks like we should go up the hill. Let's walk over here to the creek for a second. Looks like somebody's had a campfire down here. Cool little spot to camp out at. And that's where we were just at, up there. It's a 
really doesn't matter which way you go. few cars out there when I come in but I've yet to see anybody back here well, so let me put some stones here I love to camp back in here. Set up a tent over there in that open area. I don't know what this is, what it was originally used for. I mean. It just comes over here to the cliff and ends. Or does it? Okay, there's a trail going down there. We're going to come back. And look at that, that may be the second ravine, but let's first finish where we were at. Okay, I thought it's coming back. This little piece that come out here, come back. I noticed this, I didn't see this on the way down.
Looks like it. May have been an outhouse at one time. Yep. I'd say this was an outhouse at one time. And the waste just went on downhill. Okay, that is the direction we just came in. So that's the way we're gonna go back out. Well, like I said, I want to continue on here and see where this goes. Okay, they have an outhouse back here. And this is all open like this. What was this used for in the past? This makes me curious now. An open area, an outhouse, Okay, something I just thought about, about that outhouse. Did you notice there's two holes? Two people can use it at the same time? That's like some really close bonding. <laughs> Okay, this I think is the end. So maybe back here at the chainsaw and cut this out, which is cool. So this is Lee Road here. I think it's Lee, called Lee Road. This is fresh cut. Private drive. I 
We're not gonna bother following now because that may be private property there. All right, now I, according to what the rangers at Blaine Woods was telling me, any further north is private property, not their property. So that's why I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that one trail I saw earlier, heading further north, because that may be off of their property. Okay, I'm back down here again, the cliff, the edge, where I said we're gonna turn around and do the other part first. Um, I actually called Blendon Woods, because they're not too far from here, and spoke to the park ranger and asked a couple questions. This opening up here, she told me that years ago there was an old house back here, a guy used to live back here. So maybe before pre-plumbing days and that outhouse was his facility, I don't know. Um, but the house she said is tore down. I don't know where it stands and she's not sure where it stood. Um, so I don't even know if the foundation is even visible anymore. And then I asked her about this down here. I said, because I was told that anything north of Lee Road, which is just right over there, is private property. Um, she's not sure. She been, hasn't been back here for a while, but she says they're pretty good about posting signs. I don't see any signs. And she says she thinks, but it's been a while, she thinks this is still their property. So I'm going to go down here, and if I don't, you know, as long as I don't see a no trespassing sign, I'm good. But if I see one, then I'll just stop. But somebody made some stairs here, so. But these could be back from the day that the person lived back here, too. Oh, it doesn't even go down. Well, let's see here. It swings around this way. Okay. Somebody took some time in putting these stairs here. It looks to me like, and uh, I see some yellow tape down here, but it looks like it just goes down to the river's edge and doesn't actually go north. Looks like it just curves, or looks like it might go down that way. But we're just gonna stop right here. If you, I mean, if you guys wanna keep walking this, that's up to you. If you come back here, I'm just gonna stop right here. But I'm curious what that was for. Imagine some little building he, that he had back here at one time. And it looks like right there may have been the door by those two boards there. That was probably the opening. I wonder what he used it for. So. I just back on up to the top. I am going to stop videotaping here until I get back to the top of the first ravine. Where we head back on the loop back to the vehicle. There's no sense in me recording what I've already recorded. Okay, before I head back, I'm still in this open area. I thought I'd do a little snooping around, see if I can find where this house used to sit. I mean, there's a couple pieces of concrete here in the ground. Could that be what's left of the house? There's a piece here in the ground. Okay, the house has sat over here. I 
dog's gonna be down there off the hill. And uh, our house is over there. So I doubt he is gonna build the house and, and his outhouse that far apart. I mean, who wants to come outside in the middle of winter? You know, wind blowing, it's cold. You have to walk a quarter mile to go to the outhouse. Okay. Down the tree. I don't know, I'm not really finding the remains of a foundation. Okay, the outhouse is just right over there. That's back to the steel gate. If I was to guess, and that's all I'm doing, I would say the house probably sat right here. That's his way out. And right over there is his outhouse. But this is just a guess. A little indentation, probably don't see it in the video. Just a little bit right here. Could that be filled in from the foundation? I mean, I'm probably standing maybe about eight, 10, 12 inches lower than all this land around me in a radius. So could this have been where the foundation was at? The house is at. I don't know. Makes me want to do some Google searching now when I get home. If you don't find anything on this. Maybe a picture. Maybe some dates. I'm back at the top of the first ravine now. Big one down there. And we're actually back on the, the loop. That's gonna take me back to my vehicle. So the trail in the main part of the woods, if you did not go down the ravine and you just stayed up here is a loop. But if you went down through the ravine like we did, that part is an out and back. It'll take you from the point we went down the ravine, followed that trail, to where we got to uh, the gate, the metal gate. That's an out and back.
from those two points. I hear a lot of church bells going off in this area. A little tree house. Oh, there it is. There's no ladder. You can't get up it. I asked the ranger about it. He said they took the ladder down. They didn't want people climbing it because <laughs> it looks unsafe. If there was a ladder there, I wouldn't climb it because it does look unsafe. I mean, it... Hard to tell how long that's been here. But yeah, that totally looks unsafe. I would not climb that if the opportunity was there. I was talking to a ranger and they said this is about a hundred acre wood and they call it the hundred acre woods because the shot like I said you can't get lost in here it's just not that big hundred acre woods sounds familiar isn't that where Winnie the Pooh and all of them lived in a hundred acre wood. Woods. Well, I didn't see Winnie the Pooh or any of his gang out here, so I guess it's not these woods. So far, I think I've gone a little over two miles. Well, here's the first bridge. <laughs> if you want to call it a bridge. 
That's about as close to a bridge as you're going to get out here. Yeah, you know, when I come in, I said I saw a few cars out there, but have yet to see any people out here yet. You think as small as this is, that I would have seen or heard somebody, but nothing. Spooky. Well, I was wrong, and I should have remembered this before when I was out here. There is an actual bridge. Right here. That is the only one. So, I was mistaken on that. There is a bridge out here. And it's one right here towards the end. As soon as we get up this hill here, we're going to be going back out where we're parked at. We're done. I don't know where that goes to. By somebody's backyard. And here we are back out here. The other cars are all gone. And over there is where we started at. Alright, I looked. It's 2.47 miles all the way out to where I went and back. So if you go all the way out to Lee Road, Plus, I did a little bit of walking back there, too. It's uh, 2.47 miles. Not that far. Nice little good walk. Again, this is uh, Blendon Ravines. And you can Google it. It will show up. But I'll put the location in the description box below.